my pleasure to welcome you all in this regional policy dialogue on sustainable mountain solution to observe International Year of Sustainable Mountain Development 2022. The year 2022 is being observed by the International Year of Sustainable Mountain Development. I feel I feel happy to be part of this commemorations. <clears throat> As the mountain mountains in the world continue to grapple with the challenges such as natural disaster, climate change, I'm confident that the activities throughout this year will contribute to raise awareness of the importance of conservation and sustainable use use of mountain resources. <clears throat> the government in Nepal has decided to undertake a number of programs and activities to highlight the problem and the prospect of mountains in Nepal. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> mountains nourish lives, provide provide livelihoods, they are a source of ecosystem that supports, supports millions of people living in and abroad, in, living in and around the mountain landscape. Moreover, mountains are the water, mountains are the water, water tower providing fresh water to more than half of the humanity they are home to unique species of flora and fauna. <clears throat> they are not only vital for people living around them, but also crucial for those living in downstream. However, mountains and the people living there continue to confront with the several difficulties. Poverty, food insecurity, environmental degradation, risk of disasters, limited access to basic services are the challenges that mountains region increasingly confront. <clears throat> and in the, in the quagmire of climate change, mountains like as the hot spot, they are not only the barometers of the global warming, but also victims of this appropriate impact despite the negligible emissions of the mountain, mountainous country like Nepal. <clears throat> the world has not done enough to address environment degradation as the consequences of climate change has assumed crisis proportion beyond our control. We need to take urgent measures to hold global temperature rise to secure the future of humanity. Nepal has adopted the ambitious roadmap to achieve net zero carbon emission by 2045. We call upon the international community for meaningful support in our efforts. Many scientific studies of the extreme weather patterns reveal that mountain regions are getting warmer much faster than the global average. Melting the snow, retreat the glaciers, drought, erratic rainfall, flood already hints the cautionary tales. <coughs> Agenda for sustainable mountain development has been, has been Priority matter for Nepal. We raised our voice in Glasgow during COP26. But there is a long way to go for mainstreaming mountain agenda in the climate negotiations. <clears throat> we need a stronger collaboration among the mountain countries in the UN climate change negotiation to address our agenda. Nepal will continue to play a key role in the Global Forum 
to address the concern of mountainous countries. Moreover, <coughs> I, the world is now in the decades, decade of action to deliver the sustainable development goal. It is important that mountainous region are not left behind. Our unique, unique development challenges must be addressed by ensuring adequate, adequate financing, both internal as well as external, that is cheap and affordable. We must not suffer from inadequacy of the commitment, action, delivery on development outcomes. The commitment delivery gap will erode credibility and international development. We, we, we all must act in due partnership to realize strategies by all. Nature-based solutions are important to address the development of ecological needs. COVID-19 pandemic has spared no one, but economic of mountainous country has been hit hard, as the tourism industry has been gravely disturbed. In the quest of recovery, mountainous country requires further cooperation and support from the international community. It is equally important to preserve indigenous culture, generate employment opportunity, ensure development of sustainable infrastructure. The government of Nepal is committed to this pursuit in order to achieve sustainable mountain development. I am confident that this event will be helpful in synthesizing agenda for mountainous country and ultimately contribute to the achieving sustainable mountain development. I conclude with my words of the best wishes for the success of this regional policy dialogue as well as International Year of Sustainable Mountain Development. I also look forward for celebrating the year of various programs and activities including Mountain Advocacy Summit in Mustang. Thank you very much.